website. Uh, this team of six young programmers developed and executed this idea. Warren, Disha, Jalfan, Ronald, Trinity, Adve, and Jessica. Now let's talk about our motive. Since farming isn't traditionally a very explored field of AI, we wanted our project to have a huge impact in that area. Once the type of disease is diagnosed through our model, farmers can take proactive steps to prevent its spread and treat the infected crops. Our project has an opportunity to make a global impact and create a platform for us to continue growing. Here are some statistics about corn disease that validate the need for this project. The estimated mean economic loss due to yield loss by corn diseases in the United States and Ontario from the 2012 to 2015 was $76.51 per acre. This could cause, cause a huge loss in profit, which is where our project comes in. To start, we had to select a topic. To do so, each member of the team put forth a few ideas, and then we finally decided on coding a corn disease detector, which we ended up choosing because it appealed to us more than the other options, as it had the potential to create a societal impact in the future. Here, we definitely learned a lot about various corn diseases through our research. Afterwards, it was time to collect data as well as label it. For this, we used a Kaggle data set and then utilized label box to label all of this data. We learned how to efficiently label data working together as a team, as well as how to split up work and collaborate at the same time. Next, of course, we had to train our model. And so we took 80% of our labeled images, denoted it as the training set, and we ran it through YOLO, which is an object detection software. And it, the YOLO basically it helped configure all the weights and all the needed elements to make our model work well. And throughout the process, we were able to learn a lot, such as a lot of coding skills, like how to use pandas to organize and visualize data and how to prep the data for YOLO. And we even learned about YOLO itself, like how it uses neural networks in order to create the image classification from the convolutional in order to detect the original features to the pooling to minimize the amount of data. And then finally to the uh, fully connected to make the final prediction. And then, of course, we had to test our model. And so we ran 10% of the labeled images, and we saw how well our model did. And of course, we generated a confusion matrix, which we will show later, in order to see how, in order to evaluate our results. And here, too, we learned a lot of programming skills, like how to evaluate the data that we got and how to create a confusion matrix. And finally, of course, even creating this website was a learning experience because we learned how to use Flask in order to route the back end and HTML and all that. So overall, it was a great experience. All right, now we're going to do a live demo of our model. So we're going to select GraySpot. And after a few seconds of image processing, it detected GraySpot with 99% confidence. And then on the left is a paragraph which talks about the causes of gray spot, some symptoms, and finally some treatment options. Now, if you scroll down, we have our confusion matrix. Since we only had three weeks to build and train our model, our algorithm occasionally makes mistakes, although it's still extremely accurate. On the left is a picture of our confusion matrix, which shows all the accuracy and precision. Now let's go through the same process for a few more diseases. This time we're gonna use common rust. And again, our, um, our algorithm detected it with 99% confidence. Now, finally, we're going to do the third type, which is blight. And it detected blight with 100% confidence. And on the right, you can see that it made a box around the leaf itself, which is cool. All right, thank you so much for listening to our demonstration. And now we're going to move on to a slide presentation to give you a few more points about our challenges and next steps. So some of the challenges that we had was that was finding enough data and good data sets on Kaggle, which was difficult, but we did eventually find one that suited our needs. Uh, our main challenge was that we had to label over 4,000 images one at a time, which was very tedious and time consuming. Uh, 
And another challenge that we had was that we had to research and verify our data, which also was time consuming since we didn't know about um, corn diseases and many of them looked very similar. The next steps for our project are to train our model with more diverse data sets, specifically with different types of corn plants and also with healthy leaves. Our data for healthy leaves were all very similar, so our model had trouble generalizing. We'd also like to expand our project to other diseases and crops. Thank you so much for listening to our demonstration and presentation. Make sure to check our website and test our model as well. Thank you. Awesome presentation. Can we give them a round of applause, please, guys? Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome.